What's good, YouTube? It's Cuddle of Death here. Hey, happy day! Well, and we are back with another episode of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. In the previous episode, we defeated Winona and obtained our sixth badge. And this episode, it's not like I said bad. We obtained our sixth badge. Still on my recording spree, still super tired. But I am still very ready as well to continue to complete this game. I'm going to very quickly go over our party. We got our camera up in the previous episode. Finally, been waiting for Fuego to evolve. So we have Fuego, the level 33, Camerupt, Mila, the level 34, Mariana, Mittens, the level 37, Skitty, Mudkip, or Dr. Kip, the level 38, Mudkip, Dr. Omega, the level 35, Latias, and Fruit Loop, the level 36, Breloom. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully this stuff continues to go by quickly. It should definitely go by so much quicker now. And oh my goodness, that was a skitty. But it should continue to go by a little bit quicker now that we have Fuego by our side. Plus we are using, um, what is it? We're, what is this? What is this sign here for? Um, anyways, it's a little bit easier now because we do have our, our Mega Latias available. And we do have Fuego. Fuego, our nice little camera too. They didn't really have the best of luck in the previous episode. So, I mean, you win some, you lose some, I guess. You win some, you lose some. So we're just gonna head up in here and see what we got. Um, probably lots of trainers. What the hell? They seriously, they're gonna have these in here too? Uh, they're seriously gonna have these bitches in here. Oh, that's a trainer. That's unusual. Uh. Wow. Oh, I see it. That's so cool. I like how that looks. That's really awesome. I really, really like that. These guys are so creepy. The Pokemaniacs, they get creepier every game. That's a Leyron. That should be easy pickings for us. With the Earth Power here from Fuego. I can't wait to one day see him as, or see her as the Mega Camera up. Just because of how freaking cute it is. Uh, Leron is down. No sturdy for you. And I'm okay with that. See, now Fuego can gain some nice, nice little points of experience. And uh, no one else leveled up there. Okay. So let's keep avoiding other shit. So it's still pretty cool. I, I seriously had no idea that, um... Look at that. <laughs> You scare away ghosts. How does that work? You fucking scare away ghosts. That doesn't make any sense. Ooh, we like free items. A super repel. I will gladly accept that. Can we actually get around these right here? They look like they're grieving. Yeah, they look like a little space there, but I guess I guess we can't, so. I think we also get shadow ball in here somewhere. I'm just trying to be cautious. Uh, this guy's gonna turn on me in a second. Or <laughs> how funny would it be if he hopped over a grave? That'd be really fucked up at the same time, but it would be kind of funny if he did that. I'd be like, yo, what up? What up over here? Looks like a lot of these battles can be skipped. Uh, here's an item right here. A sea incense. Okay, free I free stuff is free stuff. We like the free stuff. Um, I want to know. You know what? The uh, there's a lax incense. I definitely know that other stuff, like Shadow Ball or whatever, is going to be up higher. What is down here? Why is this so creepy? This is tempting. I want to know what's so special about outside. I guess we just go ahead and go up here. Or this is like, ooh, look at that. That looks like mock bike stuff. We're definitely going to have to come back here. Or something. You can find a nice little powerful Chimeco up here, though. Somewhere. Wow, I guess you can just climb all the way up. What is this? Will-O-Wisp. Ooh, that's good. That will be really, really good for us later on. We still need to go back down and get Shadow Ball or whatever else is in here, but... We're gonna go and take care of this Team Magma, Team Aqua business stuffs. Go all the way up here. Dude, this is- they actually really did a great job on Mount Pyre. Fantastic job. Completely and utterly fantastic. Number one top quality, top notch stuffs. Um, how many grunts are we gonna have to deal with up here? Um, 
I wish we could do double battles. One, two, three, and then admin battle, I guess? Let's just go for it. Let's go! Hey, I remember you from Mount Chimney. It's payback time. So hopefully these battles go by quickly, but at the same time, they are Team Aqua, so I don't know. Um, this guy gonna have, he's got a Grimer. Earth Power is gonna destroy this thing, like, super, super quickly. So that will work out well for us. Plus, we have Fuego on our side now. The Unbreakable Fuego. I actually really need to maybe use the PP Max on Fuego later. I don't know. Uh, because her PP... That sounds terrible, but her PP is low for most of her moves. Down to the next dude up here. What's up with you, brat? What does a single kid expect to do? He expects to, uh, or she expects to take you down, actually. But this one's definitely gonna have a Carvana. Yep, look at that. Look at that little Carvana buddy there. Probably gonna outspeed us, but it shouldn't be able to one-shot us unless it has something like, something crazy like Waterfall. But at the same time, it is quadruple effective against us. We're just gonna go ahead and go for the Earth Power and see what it goes for. It went for Ice Fang. Please don't get the Freeze or the Flinch. Okay. I'm okay with you going for Ice Fang, honestly. Yeah, look at that nice and powerful Earth Power. That Earth Power really does pack a punch, though. Real talk, real talk. I remember back in the day whenever Fuego couldn't kill anything. And I don't, I don't want to say that we're out of the water yet. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and use Lava Plume because it has so much PP left. This bitch is going to go for the Swagger and piss our little camel off here. Don't piss off my humps, my Fuego. Aww. Damn, that did so much damage. What is it going to do now? Embargo? That's fine. Why couldn't you have used that before? Oh my god, that is such a cool looking move. Um, shit. Shit, 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 shit. God, that's so annoying. Because now, um, we're gonna have to start using... We're gonna have to start buying... Oh! <gasps> you motherfucker. I didn't even think about that. Uh, hmm. We can go into Fruit Loop here. I'm so glad it didn't use something like Pursuit on us right there. That would have hurt. That would have killed us. Was it? Oh god, the swagger. If Fruit Loop hits himself, this isn't going to be good for Fruit Loop. This is not going to be good for our little buddy here. Fruit Loop, you can do this. Nope, this game hates me. Like I said, this game really hates me. And there's the embargo again. Poor little thing is getting chained all to pieces over here. Apparently we're just gonna have Fruit Loop burst on all of these and just power up punch everything again. Cause that's what has worked in the past and I know it will work again, so tons of experience. Uh Dr. Omega is now level 36 and wants to learn what what is reflect type? Never seen that move before. User reflects the target's type, making it the same type as a target. Interesting move, but I'm not gonna pick that one up. But I can say I've never seen it before. So, random ass move. Even if it was introduced next time, I'm not sure. I know that there are some new moves in here, but that one was very, very off the wall random. I don't even know what to say about that. Hmm. I want to get, like, a drain punch on my fruit loop. That would be very helpful. Very appreciated, by the way, if we were to do that. I was going to say, can we seriously get past him? There. He says, I'll show you exactly how scary Team Aqua can be. And uh, so far, they haven't proven to be scary, although his eyes are really scary. So, the Mighty Anna right off the get-go, even with the Intimidate, that is okay. Swagger is going to be super annoying. Maybe this one doesn't have Intimidate. That would just be... Oh, it doesn't. Sweet. That is incredible. So maybe we won't have to deal with Swagger. We probably will. Nope, just Embargo. Okay, I am okay with this. I am okay with this. So we get another free power-up punch as well. I'm just happy that this, uh, that Fruit Loop outspeeds this Mighty Anna because a few episodes ago, Fruit Loop wasn't outspeeding anything, even though it was a higher level or something than some other Pokewad. Fruit Loop has come a long way. And that attack set is really, really nice too. Mittens is now level 38. There's the gold bat. Um, who do we have for this? We have Dr. Omega. I gotta take a drink.
Okay. Time to put in work with uh, Dr. Omega here with a nice and powerful mist ball. And all it should take is one. Yep. Didn't even have to Mega Evolve where we shouldn't have to, otherwise Dr. Omega would be considered to be a really bad Pokemon. So you think you could pick a fight with Team Aqua all by your lonesome? Well, we have been saving people's butts from Team Aqua since the beginning of the game, even in Petalburg Woods. So, ooh, look at this. Look at this stuff right here. There's some goings-ons. What is all of this? <laughs> Man, we got all of this stuff. Yo, I thought something was a bit noisy, and who is it but the usual scamp? Sorry, Scampo, but I'm afraid I just don't have time to play with you right now. The blue orb that's long been enshrined here at Mount Pyre, it belongs to Team Aqua now. Matt! Oh, boss. How about you do a favor for our lively visitor and keep her entertained? You better use your full strength, too, so you don't offend our honored guest. Blah ha 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 ha. With this blue orb in my hands, I won't even need the power of the meteorite to awaken the beast from the deep. All I need now is a way to get to the place where it sleeps. Uh, he, he fucking rhymes. All I have to do is get that submarine they're making in Slateport. Come on, boys. We're for Slateport City. We're for Slateport City is such a weird, random-ass sentence. Alright, then. Until the boss makes his getaway, I'll be your opponent. Oh, ha ha ha! So, I guess this is an admin dude. If I remember correctly. Yeah. Admin Matt. That was right. Is he gonna beg it? If over is he a scrub? He's probably a scrub. I would say he's definitely a scrub. Yep, he's a scrub. He's such a scrub. You guys saw that. Min's is probably going to get rocked. Um, like, she should have gotten rocked several episodes ago. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, the slash, yeah, that's going to rock Mittens. Oh, the cute charm. Maybe we will have luck on our side. It did avoid the attack. It's probably going to hit us anyways. We'll see. Yeah, it hit us. Damn, poor little Mittens. We tried. Okay, then let's go into. Uh, Fuego can't really do anything. Dr. Omega might outspeed. I don't know. Sharpedo is super fast. That's the problem. Let's go for a Dragon Breath here. Man, Q Charm did not come through. Poor little mittens. Sharpedo's revenge, even though Archie was the one who lost to us last time. Oh, there's the Ice Bang. I was going to say, I knew that was going to do a decent amount of damage, but it was a critical hit, to be fair. So, time to take out this dude and get him off the face of the earth right here. Because he is a worthless little scumbag, and he needs to go back home or something. Everyone's leveling up. Mwahaha! <laughs> that battle was fun, even though I lost. Team Aqua seemed to be such good sports. I don't know. That was fun. I knew you'd show me a good time. I look forward to facing you again someday. And it's very interesting how it seems like they've made Team Aqua so, like, encouraging at the same time. Although they are technically the quote-unquote evil team. I know that they're trying to fight for something good, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know. It's, they're still, the way that they changed around Team Aqua is very, very cool. And it's probably the same with Team Magma, but I wouldn't know because I haven't completed Omega Ruby yet. The blue orb stolen from our safekeeping. The blue orb and red orb must never be separated. They belong together. Mmm. So now we need to go, we need to go retrieve it. Oh, we're going to get the red orb. It's going to be pretty cool. Uh-oh, we're going to piss them off. Because we have the meteorite. Uh-oh, that was such a bad idea. That was a terrible idea. We must chase after Team Aqua and stuff. Okay, they said they were headed to Slateport City next. But guess what? We're not headed to Slateport City. Um, let's actually teach someone fly really fast and then fly right off the top of this. Because that's what we like to do. Alright, Dr. Omega. 
Let's see, what can I get rid of? I am gonna get- I might get rid of Recover, cause I- I can just use potions or teach her roost later or something. So we'll just do that. As much as Recover is cool, I mean, we can, like I said, use potions or teach her roost or something. Cause this is more convenient for our playthrough, and this is what we need, so this is what we're doing. Whoops! Uh, yeah, Route 122. I love the fact that we can fly to routes now. We've been waiting so long for that feature to get added, and it's finally been added in here, so... Happy as hell about that. Uh, whoops, I actually meant to fly a little bit up. I gotta get used to route flying, but it's so convenient. It's gonna make things so much easier. We're just gonna head straight to Lily Cove right now, because... There's still a lot of shit going on over here. Uh, nice max repel for us. What is- what the hell's up with all this tall grass that they decided to put on this route? We seriously have to fight this dude. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it! What is that song? Listen to this music. I like this music. This is good music. This is real, real good, real quality music. Oh, that's a lady. Whoops. Pokefam Vanessa. Pikachu. Or Pika Pika. Probably gonna have to deal with static here. Um. Who cares? We're, we're so close to Lily Cove anyways, so might as well just go for it. I wonder what level we learned. Crunch is probably in our 40s or something. Poor little sad, depressed Pikachu. Okay. Uh, we don't have cut on us right now. And I think I think we are I think we are in the clear. There's some berries down here that we can pick. Nana berries. I like to always get these berries. Nana berry again, and of course we're gonna have some more Nana berries. But it's interesting uh, to see how the routes have changed in comparison to Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Okay, so Lily Cove time. I, I'm thinking. I want to see what it looks like. Lily Cove City. Um, we don't need to worry about that right now. Because we're getting in here, healing up, and uh, going about our merry way again. Probably head into sleep port. And then have to head back here. And I have to do all the other stuffs. But I still believe we can go ahead and do a battle. A rival battle up near the mart, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, if it isn't Kristen, did you come to do shopping too? Oh, that's pretty. You know what I'm talking about. The Lily Cove department store. My dad asked me to pick him up a few things here. So, yeah. It's not like I'm here to buy dolls or something, right? Anyways, it feels like it's been ages since we last ran into each other. How about I battle you so you can see which one of us is doing a better job at raising our Pokemon? Though I think you and I both know who the winner is going to be, Kristen. Yeah. I think so too. I think you know that I am way better than Brendan. I am way better than you, Brendan. Um, so he's got his swallow right off the get-go. No more sending out shitty ass Slugma, who could be a mad cargo now, but I totally forgot Fruit Loop was first. This shit isn't gonna work. Um, we could go into Milo for the Intimidate. We're actually on level with, with uh, Brendan right now. And look at this. This is a nice background too. I like this. It's very, very pretty. Pretty looking. I want uh, battle background customization so bad. And I know I mentioned that many, many episodes ago, but still, we should be slower. Yeah, so Assurance is gonna deal a, a fair amount of damage here. I think. Yeah. Let's go for a bite this time. Let's go for the double team. That makes me very sad, but it's okay. We'll be fine. Hopefully this will kill it. it Ooh. 
I was gonna say it probably won't. I was expecting it to be left with a little smidgen of HP there. Uh, whale Lord! Oh, that's pretty cool that he has a Whale Lord right here. What do we have for it? We have Fruit Loop or Mittens. <gasps> no, we have to send out Mittens. This is too perfect. Skitty and Whale Lord? I think, uh, what? They used to be able to breed? So, Skitty versus Whale Lord. You guys have been waiting for this moment, this glorious moment. Here you go, Skitty versus Whale Lord. Time to have at it. Time to put this thing to sleep, maybe. Yeah, I gotta sing to a Whale Lord. This thing is gonna take forever to kill. Seriously, forever to kill. Watch this damage that we don't do. Wow, we actually do more than what I was expecting. I was expecting even less than that. So this is too freaking perfect. That, I mean, that meme has been around for such a long time. It's going for the amnesia. But it's not going to help him out because... Because that's special defense. So, Skitty versus Waylord. Mittens has to win this fight. It would be such a great thing to have such a small Pokemon versus this. Rest? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. It's okay, because we have tons of secret powers. And uh, we need, like, a nice crit or something. We need a very, very nice crit. I'm actually surprised that the HP Mittens actually has. I must have a lot of HP EVs invested or something. I'd have to check Super Training and see what it shows Mittens' uh, EVs to be. This thing's going to wake up and use Rest again. Watch. It did. What a motherfucking troll. Are you serious? Are you kidding me right now? Yeah, we need to get some crits. Or we need to start using, like, wake up slap, but then it's just gonna want to rest again. I'm waiting for my crits. I will stall you out. I don't care what I have to do. Although it would take forever to stall a whale lord out if he keeps waking up and using rest and waking up and using rest and waking up and using rest and waking up and using rest. Ugh. Is he gonna go for it again? He did. This motherfucker is so annoying. But the skitty ha- like, Mittens has to pull through here. Um, let's go for the faint attack this time. Lower it little by little. Right here. And this way it'll be less compelled to use rest. Do this again. And then we're going to start using uh, secret power now. And maybe it won't use rest on us. Unless it's a fucking troll. Went for the brine. Oh, God. Um, yeah, it's probably going to rest again. This shit is so annoying. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, maybe Mittens isn't cut out for this battle. Yeah, there's the fucking rest again. Do I have any, like, X attacks or anything? This Waylord is just trying to be an asshole right now. I mean, I'm a skitty. Guard spec. That's literally all we have, so let's just try to bank on getting some critical hits then. Okay, I thought that was going to be a crit for a second by the way that that was acting. Otherwise, this bitch is just going to keep resting on us. Uh, we need to crit at the right moment is the problem. We could use Wake Up Slap, but I mean, it's not going to kill. And it will wake it up, so. So you need to not use Rest once. Are you fucking serious right now? Uh... This is like the stalliest, stupidest thing ever. Ugh. Um. We need to stay asleep forever. I still have an elixir and ethers. I'm gonna win this fight with his skitty. I'm gonna try to at least. He's gonna wake up this turn. If he stays asleep, we're fine. He's just stalling me out of my secret powers, and it's like the most annoying thing ever. Wow. I'm about to see how much wake-up slap does. 
After using, um, what is it? After using secret power. Watch it be the solution to all of our problems here. I don't think he'll wake up after two. I highly doubt Wake Up Slap will kill from this. But I guess it's worth a shot at this point. I don't know why it was taking so long to make that move right there. Wow. <laughs> Shit is so fucking dumb. Shit is literally so fucking stupid. Just gonna wake him up again. Slap his ass back up. That's actually really bad for us now that I think about it. Um... We gotta go for the max potion. Man! Man! Such a sad little day here. Okay, we needed to put it back to sleep there because it was causing us issues. Um, could we kill it now? We have two secret powers and a wake up slap. I don't think we're gonna be able to kill it. Unless we get like a crit. It's probably gonna kill us now. I woke up. <laughs> the fucking rest. <sighs> this whale lord wants to play fucking games. But at the same time, it ain't playing games. Um, okay, let's go ahead and use our super potion here. And we're gonna eat there. We're gonna stall- if this bitch really wants to stall us out right now, then we're gonna play stall. We are gonna stall you out so hard. Uh, what do we got? Ether. Okay. So we will stall back and forth. I don't care. We can play this game. It takes two. He just, I mean, this Waylord is having trouble against the Skitty. But he's going for the water spell. That's probably going to kill us now. Aww. After the long, hard stally war that we had there, too. That's so sad. That is so freaking sad. We tried. We tried. Skitty put up a great fight there. Skitty did put up a fantastic fight. Now this thing's gonna spam water spout back and forth. Which means we get power up punches like crazy. It's gonna rest. I don't care. Unless it's out of rest, but I highly doubt it. Or it's gonna die. That's fine. You pissed off the wrong person. <sighs> Skitty tried so hard. Mag Cargo! Um, uh, We'll go into Dr. Kip for this. We haven't seen Dr. Kip do anything in a while, so... Dr. Kip time it is! Dr. Kip time it is! Super special, amazing Kip time! Because now, he has Surf. So he's able to do this. Look at him. He was so cute right there, too. Bonk! We literally got super bonked there. There's nothing anyone else can do about that. I mean, that was definitely super bonk to the maximum. So finally, finally we uh, we got through that battle. Oh, and wait, no, we have Sceptile left. Um, we're gonna go back into Fuego for this and deal with Brendan. Brendan's final Pokemon here. I don't think he can Mega Evolve still. I don't know. We're gonna go for that nice and powerful Heat Wave. Oh, he has Dual Chop. I forgot. He can get some Dragon moves now. Pretty cool stuff. That's a critical hit. Oh, and of course we missed. We missed the Heat Wave. So, you know what, Lava Plume? Heat Wave is pissing me off so much. It's pretty cool to have it. I mean, egg move, whatever, but it's it's been so inaccurate. 
Oh, look, we got the burn. I'm so close to dying, too. I'm just gonna heal up and let the burn... Let the burn take him out. Super stally fucking battle. Super, super stally battle. Super, super stally battle. He's gonna go for the slam. That's not gonna do any damage, of course, because of the burn and everything, too, so... And he is out of there. Level 36, Fuego. Dr. Kip is now level 40. Uh, hmm, you've raised your team quite a bit. Yeah, and you wanted to stall out with a whale or quite a bit. Boy, that stings a bit. I had a head start on you as a Pokemon trainer, but still, I, uh... I'm planning on going home to Little Root. You know how I've been helping out with my dad and the Pokedex and it's been coming together pretty decently? So I ought to go back home and show it to him. Kristen, what are you going to do? You still thinking of collecting all the gym badges and taking on the Pokemon League challenge? Yes. Yeah? I'm not surprised. Do your best. You know I'm behind you. Uh-huh. Did you, Kristen, I think there's something, there's something sparkling in your bag. The same kind of light as the meteorite had, the one you showed me on Lava Ridge. Ah, never mind. Just good luck out there. Well, thank you, Brendan. I appreciate the good luck wishes for me. Uh, with that, you guys, I think that is going to actually end off this episode. Make sure to answer my comment question in the comment section below this video. And also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Give it a cool little like. It does help me out a lot, and I appreciate it so much. And I will catch you guys in the next video that I post next. I love you guys. Bye!